Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! What's up, everybody? It's Andrew from the Jaguar Podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Caleb on Chase on. Is he a bust or not? A lot of weird things going on uh, with him. Um, so let's get into it. To start off first, a um, couple announcements, guys. Uh, we have welcomed a new Jaguars fan into the family. I am a father. Uh, had a newborn baby boy, Ryan. So he is the newest uh, Jag War fan and um, member of our family. So uh, I've been real busy lately, so I apologize, guys. Um, just, you know, raising a kid, doing the adulting thing, and um, but trying to put out more content here, um, doing a lot of shorts, just some uh, nice clips from some of the interviews I've done with Jag Wars players. People seem to like it, so I'm going to keep on doing it and uh, expect more there. And, of course, expect more live streams coming up as well. I don't think I'm going to live stream many preseason games. I just, I don't know. I just don't see the value of it. Um, I'll probably be live tweeting it just, um, you know, for time's sake, but um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and of course be giving you the first class commentary uh, that I try to give on the Jaguars. But also another big announcement, I am partnering with another uh, podcast. It's called the Every Morning Quarterback uh, podcast, a uh, bunch of great guys doing great stuff, putting out amazing content. So I'll put a link in the video description. Um, but really excited to uh, be a part of the team and uh, help develop their brand. I think it's a great one. So go check them out. I'll put a link in the video description. And also quick shout out to another one of my partners, FL Teams, doing great stuff as well. Uh, Florida Sports website. Uh, doing all things uh, sports coverage for Florida teams. So FL teams, check them out. All right, so let's get into it. Caleb on Chase on, a guy that we drafted, I think, in 2020, um, part of the Dave Caldwell kind of regime and draft picks there. Uh, first rounder out of LSU. And this guy just hasn't done much, man. Was supposed to be an elite pass rusher, but has done – diddly squat for the Jaguars. I mean, you look at his numbers, uh, 2020 stats, he had just one sack, one pass deflection. Um, I think he had 19 total tackles, uh, 12 solo. And then you go into the 2021 year where, you know, we were expecting more from him that second year and just didn't do much either. Had one sack, uh, 31 total tackles, and then uh, 20 solo. So uh, I think, you know... I think the Jags are going to have to to trade him at some point. I put out a survey on Twitter, and the majority of the uh, people that participated in the uh, survey were pretty um, adamant on trading Caleb on Chase on, and I'm in agreement, man. Um, and especially given some of the stuff that he has said on social media and in interviews, one example would, was this tweet or this uh, quote that he put out and he was saying it kind of lit a fire under his rear end and that he was going to be more motivated. And that is just like a total head scratcher for me. Um, this guy should be motivated. He's getting paid millions of dollars. He was a first round draft pick and he just has shown nothing. Um, a lot of people are still kind of hopeful about him, but I'm not, man. I, I think we should have traded him in, um, you know, made a deal in the draft, this year's draft, to try to trade him away. Uh, because I just don't feel like he's been very productive for us. Um, we have Trayvon Walker, so obviously the Jaguars organization is kind of, you know, trying to hedge their bets, you know, with the pass rush, given he hasn't had, um, Caleb on Chase on, hasn't had a lot of production. So I would have just tried to trade him during the draft, but now, you know, he's going into camp and even now he's saying weird stuff in interviews. I think Jamal St. Sir, I think is how you pronounce his last name. I, I'm probably bo uh, botching that. He gave an interview with uh, Caleb on Chase on and he asked Caleb on Chase on 
I believe it was like if you had your chance, if you had your choice of quarterbacks, would you pick Joe Burrow or uh, Trevor Lawrence? And he said, I plead the fifth. Check this out. Now, here's my hard one for you. You won a national championship in college, right? Uh-huh. All right, you starting a football team. You only have one quarterback, Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence. Who you got? Oh, oh, why that's that's the that? zinger. Ah. Hey, man, you got to make it pretty man. You got to keep hey. it real. I plead the fifth. Let's do it. <laughs> so, obviously, the answer here is 100% Trevor Lawrence. You have to support your quarterback. This guy says, I plead the fifth. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Caleb on Chase on doesn't want to be there. Uh, he, he knows he's probably not going to be starting. He's going to be a rotational player at best if he doesn't get cut. And I really don't think... I don't know. I don't think he makes this roster. I just don't think he does. Um, you know, I saw some of the footage from the preseason game, the Hall of Fame game, rather. Um, he didn't look good. He whiffed on a sack. And he's been doing that, you know, the past two seasons. Just underperforming. And it's not a good look. I don't think he's going to be a good locker room guy either, given his answer to, I plead the fifth. You know, what a stupid answer. Um, so I, I, I say, try to trade him out of there. You know, you're, you're probably not going to get much for him, but do you want a guy around the locker room? That's not going to support his quarterback and saying, I plead the fifth when asked, you know, who are you going to pick for your, your own team, Joe Burrow or Trevor Lawrence? I'm sure the coaches saw it. You know, I saw it. I think, uh, I think the Jaguars need to trade this guy and get it, get him out of there as soon as they can. They're probably not going to get much in terms of, you know, They'll probably get a fifth or a sixth maybe for him, but might be might be helpful at this point just because you know you get him out of the locker room. He's not, you know, uh toxic in there and, and kind of being a bad energy, uh bad culture guy. But you know, let me know how you guys feel about this. Do you think the Jags should trade uh Caleb on Chase on? Do you think he's a bust? I think he is. And uh a lot of people on Twitter agree with me on that. But leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, a lot of great content is going to continue uh, to funnel your way. I'm going to be doing uh, regular season live reactions, so uh, be on the lookout for that. And I'll be doing some more episodes, live streams as well with FL Teams and uh, Every Morning Quarterback as well. And player interviews. Uh, check out the foyer a Luacon interview, that was a real fun one to do. Um, Dan Arnold, Chad Muma. So I'm going to try to get some more guys on the show. And uh, it's been a blast, man. So if you like the content and you want to support my work, the best thing you could do is subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, guys. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time. Intimidation on to keep their hearts racing, eating other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive scheme. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.